In this video, we're gonna talk about what's the best WordPress permalink structure for SEO. Welcome to All-in-One SEO. We make SEO easy with our powerful WordPress SEO plugin. Let's get started. Today, we're gonna to talk about what is the best WordPress permalink structure for SEO. But before we do that, I wanna define what a permalink is. A permalink in the WordPress world is simply a URL. It is the public web address, the public URL that people can use to access your content. So if we look at the companion WordPress blog post to this video, entitled, What's the Best WordPress Permalink Structure for SEO? We can see our permalink here, which is aioseo.com slash best dash WordPress dash permalink dash structure. The next thing we want to define is what is an SEO friendly URL. So an SEO friendly URL is a URL that is easily understood by the search engines. And since Google is so heavily focused on the user experience, it is also a URL that is easily understood by people. So I click over onto this next tab here. We have an article from nature.com about China's different shades of greening. And you can see the URL here. This is not an SEO friendly URL. It's nature.com slash articles slash and then a whole bunch of letters and numbers. So a human being reading this URL could only determine that this is an article on the nature.com website. But beyond that, they really don't know what it's about. What we're trying to do is avoid having URLs like that and instead have URLs like this that give the user an idea of what the page or what the content is about. So there's a couple of rules that if you follow, it will make it much easier to ensure that your permalinks are SEO friendly. The first one is to use your keyword in your permalink. So in this example, we have a blog post about what's the best WordPress permalink structure for SEO. And up in our URL, you can see that we have our target keyword permalink structure as part of the URL. The second rule to follow is to not use dates in your URL. So in this example, I just opened up a new tab and I have the same title of the article, except now I added slash 2015 into the URL. This article is not from 2015, but if it was, and you were looking for information on WordPress permalink structure, you probably are going to be a lot less inclined to read an article from 2015. The easiest rule is don't use dates in the URL. Another rule that will help with search engine friendly permalinks is to use dashes in the links and not underscores. I just opened another new tab here. And if we look at this, it's the same URL, but now we have underscores instead of dashes. And it's just easier for most people to read with the dashes instead of underscores. I'm kind of nerdy. I like underscores myself, but the fact of the matter is Google prefers dashes. There's two other things you can do to help ensure that you have SEO friendly permalinks. The first is to make sure that your website is in fact secure and uses HTTPS, not HTTP. Google has indicated that this is definitely a factor in ranking content on whether the page is secure or not, and Google prefers secure pages. And then one last thing you can do to make your permalinks more SEO friendly is if you have a very large site, you actually do want to include categories. Again, I just opened up a blank tab here because this is where people are going to see your URL. And let's say we have a, a big e-commerce site like Amazon bigstoreexample.com, Blendjet. If you're not familiar with kitchen appliances and blenders, you might not know what the heck Blendjet is. In the second example here, we've added some categories, bigstoreexample.com slash kitchen slash appliances slash Blendjet. So in this instance, even though it's longer, it makes the permalink more SEO friendly because people can actually understand what it is. So to set this up on your own site from the WordPress dashboard, head on over to settings and click on permalinks. And here, WordPress gives you several options for how you would like your permalinks to display. So given what we've talked about in the first part of this video, we can see that post name is probably the best option for having SEO friendly permalinks. The first example plain just has a P and a number, doesn't tell anybody what the post is about. The second example has dates in it. The third example has dates in it. The fourth example is numeric. So really the fifth example is the way to go. If you have a large site, then perhaps custom structure is the way to go and you could add in categories. But for most cases, post name is the way to go. Now, since permalink is short for permanent links, this is not something you really want to change once you have a live site with lots of content out there. That being said, there are sometimes business needs that arise where for some reason, you need to change this anyway. In that case, you can use the redirect feature of the AIO SEO plugin to redirect your old links to your new ones. You can also edit permalinks on each individual page or post by going to that page or post. So from the WordPress dashboard, 
go to your post or page section, then pull up one of your page or posts to edit it. And over on the right hand side, if you click the drop down arrow next to permalink to expand it, you can manually edit the post name here and call it whatever you want. So in the example of this one, let's say I was going to use this old post and make it the new post. I don't want the word old in there anymore, so I could delete that. Click update and you're done. So that's what we think is the best WordPress permalink structure for SEO. If you click on this next video right here, I'll show you how to set up 301 redirects in your WordPress website using the all-in-one SEO plugin. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks on how to use our easy and powerful SEO WordPress plugin, All-in-One SEO.